Hey guys, we need a podcast. Yo, what's going on, man? It's your guy Snub Jeans. We need a podcast. Open mic. Uh, my co D, uh, Mr. Coley, is out there. He's out of the building today. Uh, we do got a special guest, though. I got my man YB and LV. What's going what's on? What's going on, Jack? What's happening? How you feel, bro? I'm chilling, man. It's Yo, early, but it's, you know what I'm saying? We in here. Right, right. It's early. We working. Yeah. It's, it's good to yeah. finally get you up here, bro. Bet, bro. You know, yeah, schedule man. be real hectic. Word. You know? First thing, before we even start off, man, I want to know what what does YBNLV mean? Like, sp- like spell that out for me. YBN. What's the what YBN saying? mean? YBN stands for Young Beach Nigga. You know okay. what I'm saying? We, you know what I'm saying? That's really my Young Nigga shit. You know what I mean? Breeze on all them. That's okay. they shit for real, for real. Okay. But we always all call, you know what I'm saying? Young Beach Nigga, we from the ocean front. We from the beach. You know what I'm saying? Beach Boys. That's all it is. But they took that shit, you know what I mean? Stacked that shit, YBN with the music and extra shit. And I just know what I mean. You got put that battery to that shit. That's all that is. Exactly. It's and a whole lot of family shit. And the LV, like what? What's that? Oh my, no, nah, I mean my uh my dad named Vince too. Okay. Everybody call me Big. They call my dad Big Vince. They call me Love Vince. That's all that is. Got gotcha. you, Young Beach. So nobody call me. You know what I mean, it ain't like that's a nickname or nothing. That's just what everybody call me. Exactly. LV. Word. Yeah. Word. So I'm being Young Beach nigga Vince. LV. Word. Um. So listen. Uh, how long you been rapping for, bro? One month we in December, I started. December. Like this past, like a year? Yeah, I think it, it just hit a year. I think it just hit a year. Well, Funny damn. shit. You know, everybody always try to, like, fuck with it, fuck with it, you know what I'm saying? You know. But I ain't never, I used to be in the studio just gambling, shooting dice and shit. Right. But yeah, I was in the studio with Shy, and the nigga had flaked on him, and I was already lit. So, bro, just kept on saying, bro, just get on, you know, that Mav joint. He was like, bro, just hop on that shit, bro. I mean, hot in the booth. I did that shit. Everybody was fucking with it. So at what point did you say I'm gonna take this shit serious, and and we and we about to see what this shit can do? Not even after that. Probably like after full play, after the reactions I got from full play, because I had dropped a full play jump in the studio <clears throat> with Rick Flair. Okay. Goddamn. Cause Tay was like, you know what I mean? Beast Boy was like, bro, shoot that shit. You might as well just go ahead and take off. You know he going crazy. I'm you know saying, so I just shot that jump. Everybody was fucking with it, right? Like really fucking with it. You know what I mean? And it, it just people I ain't even know. It was just hitting me like, yeah, I want that. And I mean, I ain't even think to put it on no platforms. And I just wanted to shoot a video. I wanted to get fly. You know what I'm saying, right? Fuck it. So but tell yeah, me. So I, that's so, how I got motivated. So when you get that response, so when people, so when you actually get that positive response from the people from the streets, like, yo, this this kid is dope. Like, what does that make you feel? Like, what's that? What's that, that emotion? Shit, that's, it made me feel good, you know what I'm saying? Especially for, I ain't never really thought about really, really rapping, but you know what I'm saying? Like, <clears throat> now it's like I've been doing it uh, uh, for so long. Right. Now, well, not for so long, but I do it, you know what I'm saying? I'm in the studio every week. Well, when I try to, I'm a, I try to be in the studio every week, you know what I'm saying? Whenever so it's I like got second, time. second nature but to you. But now it's just like I use the studio as a scapegoat. I fuck with this shit, you know what I mean? Using motivation. When you got stress, you going through certain shit, I mean, I might hit DT up. Bro, I need to get in the studio before Word. I do some dumb shit. And it's just everybody just like be fucking though. with me, bro. I like that, though. So it's like, you know what I mean? I ain't going to say it was natural. Like, I was just always want to be a rapper because I didn't. But it was like, I just started getting motivated by the shit, by the, all the fans, people who really fuck with my shit, people that don't know me. And really, you know what I'm saying? I'll be having young niggas write me like, damn, bro, you motivating me. Like, get me to get some money. Exactly. Like, yeah, and that's that all, that's all that it takes shit. to keep you going, for and real. And then it's just, yeah, after that, I was like, Oh yeah, we in the studio. I fuck with it. So, so how long do you, how long do you think it took you to kind of like find your sound, like your to? Cause I know you when you first started, you probably mm-hmm. just kicked a couple verses for niggas and shit. But bro, to be honest, I still look for my sound because with me, I rap on all different types. Like bro, you know what I mean? I got DT with me. Well, all we do, he playing Beach Boy, cook up a beat. None of the beats are the same. None of the beats. So you know what I'm saying? And I just go like. You know what I'm saying I don't really write shit no more. I just try to find. That's how I try to find my flow. I just be natural with it. Right. So it might be some up tempo. I might have a whole different type of flow. Right. But I can't really. I can't really just rap, bro. I gotta have something to talk about. Talk about. Not saying it gotta be no deep ass serious shit, but I can't just. You gotta be authentic. You know what I'm saying? And it gotta be me, like. You know what I'm saying? Right. And I respect that. You know, me and Coley, That's what we kind of we we like that authentic. Yeah. That that. It comes from somewhere, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, so Beach Boy Tay. That's Yo. big cuz, little cuz. 
That's my little, well, that's little cousin. Little cousin. You know, we don't, I don't call him little cousin. Nah, he, I got you. He's an old man. Yeah, I got you. Shit, but yeah, I'm older than him. He turned 25. Um, hey. So having him do his thing, do you feel, do you kind of feel like in his shadow maybe? Or do people, mm -hmm. like, do you hear that? Like, oh, that's. Bro, since we was motherfucker, I mean, uh, since we was uh, <clears throat> growing up, like, bro, since we were four, five, six years old, you never really seen him without me. Right. So the shit be natural. I got you. Like, even before I stopped, even before I started rapping, you know what I'm saying, bro, be going crazy and shit. And people would still be like, damn, y'all going, y'all doing y'all thing. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I don't really feel, I don't look at it like that because. Whatever just, he do, you, I just be on some. But, I got you. But now that I be doing my music, bro, like now how I separate and I do my own thing. Like he was, he told me like, bro, put it, put your tape out, shit, take this shit serious. Now niggas see like, damn, bro, can flow like, bro, got his own style, his like, own you know sound. What I mean? Yeah. Like we got different fans and all type of shit. Exactly. Like, bro, be on some turned up shit. Yeah. I might. You know, so I man, I can see some, it. I see that. On some turned up shit, I be on some more. Um. Why be in files? Yeah. Is this your, is is that your first? Your first project? Yeah. First project ever put out, yeah. So tell me, so walk me through the process of of uh, of YBN uh, files. Like how at what point you say, you know, I'm putting out a tape, um like what was the, the motivation behind it? Like how how was your process of putting the whole shit together? Um just that whole that whole process. I just had I ain't gonna sit here and be on no, I ain't gonna sit here and sugarcoat to you, bro. Like now, I, it's like everything is more serious, more professional, more planned out. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm working on my second tape and my EP with DTP and Beach Boy. You know what I'm saying? But when I was doing that YBN Files, it wasn't like that, bro. I just had so I was doing songs. I had songs out. You know what I'm saying? I had songs in the cut that nobody ever heard. I mean, bro, like it's time to put the tape out. I'm like, all right. Even then, I was taking my time with it. Like, since I did it when I felt like doing it. Right. You know what I mean? Listen, then I had, me and bro had, listen to all my music, me and DTP. We was like, damn, we gonna see what we need to be up there. Right. And even at that point, bro only had like, them only had like five more songs than, that weren't on it. Like, right. I ain't got a lot of songs. You know what I mean? This is the music I was doing. So most of your catalog was on. Yeah, was like on now, that. I got shit. I got hella shit in the cut. Like, like we done did about 10, 15 songs in the past week. Just just grinding just like grinding. but before when I had dropped that YBN Files, bro, I ain't even had a lot of music out. It was just the shit I was doing. Like I fuck niggas, I fuck with it. Right. So I mean, what was your what was the response of it? Because I mean it was recent. That's what yeah, maybe like two months ago, a month ago. Yeah, October I had dropped out. October my birthday. I'm st I still be getting a lot of love. You know what I'm saying? I be having people from other states tag me and they shit. You know what I'm saying? Or uh, DM me talking about how they fuck with the music and all that. They favorite songs and I mean. It really shot me for real, for real. I ain't think it was gonna be like that. So you said you're working on your EP now, so I'm, I'm assuming yeah. you're you're attacking this one a little bit different this time. Mm -hmm. Um, you said a little more calculated. Yeah. Like yeah, I still got YBN files in the work, and I got like four, five songs on that. But we've been really working on this EP. I'm doing with Beach Boy and um, DTP, and it's it's gonna be like six songs, but it's gonna be more. Focus, like we really gonna see what we want on that bitch. You know what I'm saying? That's dope. Yeah, that's dope. That's what I really been working on. That's dope, bro. That's dope. Hey, don't leave me hanging, bro. That's, that's dope. dope. I like that. Yeah, really. Um, <laughs> so a, a lot of thing, a lot of thing, um, a lot of talk with the Virginia scene. They, a lot of people are saying that Virginia doesn't show love. Um, they don't support one in, uh, on, mm -hmm. one another. Um, people don't help and reach out. How do you feel about that? Do you do you feel that's true? And if mm -hmm. it is true, if it is true. Does it matter? Like, does it bro, matter? I don't even. I don't. Like, I don't know, bro. Cause I don't receive no hate. I don't be feeling no hate from nobody. Like, I can't say, "Oh yeah, nigga, he be hating." You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Some people, either either people fuck with your shit or not. It be like people be so sensitive now, bro. Like, if somebody really honestly might not like your shit, and, and if, if somebody tell you niggas to get all sensitive and they feelings like, "Oh yeah, fuck, nigga, he a hater, bro." You know what I'm saying? It ain't like that with me, bro. Like. Like, bro, like, Tay, especially here, tell me, my niggas would tell me, like, nah, bro, I ain't fucking with that shit. I'm like, all right, lot, 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 lot. You know what I'm saying? Bro, tell me, nah, bro, I ain't fucking with that shit. You know what I'm saying? But I don't really be getting no hate, bro. I be feeling like I got a lot of niggas that show me love. Right. So I think, and I think a lot of people that are actually expressing that sentiment of Virginia not showing love, I think they don't have the, the product. You have to have the product first. Yeah. You know what I mean? You have I, to have the quality music. The, I feel like. 
you know, I feel like it's the grind, bro. It's the grind, bro. Because honestly, even like with me, I ain't really start receiving all that love for real, friend, until I really started niggas. Putting the work. When in. I took it serious, people started taking Being me serious, serious, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like, like, you know what I'm saying? You look at Beach Boy. I mean, bro, it ain't nobody grinding like, bro. No. It ain't nobody out here grinding like, bro. Like, right. And they grind for it, bro. You got to respect it. And the music going to follow. Exactly. So you know, I look at it like, bro, your shit ain't, my shit ain't where it need to be right now. I'm just going to keep grinding. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's people out here that love my shit. Word. It's people that don't. Oh, well. In the Virginia scene, let me, in your opinion, the top five, who would like the top five people, uh, the top, top five people putting on for the state? Crazo. Crazo down. Crazo been doing this shit for a minute. And he really on a different level. That's how I look at it. Um, I said top five, bro. I don't really got a just top five. Your... I can name people that's just doing their thing, bro. But I get crazy that. Because I, I actually seen that. Come to like, I watched that shit. Like, damn, bro, really putting in that work. You know what I'm saying, right. bro? Like, he doing shit. There ain't nobody over here doing. But I can say people that's influenced. It ain't really a top. But goddamn. You know what I mean? Beach Boy. He going crazy and got to give him his props. Big money, BNP. BNP. Flame blazing out there going crazy. You know, you got 6F in their city. But like, they turning their city up. 6F wise, saying they turn it up. You know so you got the South North and niggas, bro. Everybody really, you know what I mean, bro? It's like everybody working, bro. Breeze. Everybody just working, bro. I don't really look at no top dog, bro. Like, but you look at cities, you separated by cities, you like, damn, these niggas got their city lit. They got their city lit. I mean, I don't really get into that. Who top five? Who putting on? Man, everybody working, everybody doing their thing, bro. Where, so where do you, where do you where do you put where do you put yourself in the mix? As far I'm as me. Niggas, as far as niggas, is, is, bro, I'm me, bro. I get it. You gotta talk your shit, yeah, though, my nigga. Yeah, but it ain't even talking about shit, bro. You. Like I don't be worried about. Like <laughs> I'm just the type nigga, bro. I don't care. I don't worry about none of that shit, bro. Right, like right. even my life, my life, bro. I don't measure myself up to nobody. I do my own exactly. thing, bro. Like it's people. That really hit me and tell me, damn, they fuck with my shit harder than niggas. I feel like, damn, bro. I feel like, bro, my his shit harder than mine. But right. it's just some people like my shit, bro. I don't look at it like I do me, bro. And that's all that I do me. I don't give a fuck with none of that shit. Exactly. Like I really don't think about, damn, I better than this person or where I rank at. Bro, I don't care about that shit. Niggas, right. niggas know how I live that's in real dope. life. That's dope. This music shit. That's dope. Up with it. So um, how? So how? Get into that. Twenty six. Just turned twenty six. Twenty six. So who coming up? Coming up, who was who was YB and LV listening to? Coming up. Matter of fact, let me let me let me narrow it down even sharper. Like, who was the artist, or maybe what was the CD that made you fall in love with just hip hop, the rap shit in general? Like, what was like, yo? Coming up, I fuck with it. All right, damn, bro, I listen to everybody, bro. The old Wayne, like mixtape Wayne, the Suffolk, the dedication. He, yeah, the old Wayne. But, like, bro, I listen to so much music, bro. Like, now it's probably, like, Kodak. Okay. Back in the day, I listen to everybody coming up, you know what I'm saying? Like, I like I told you, bro, I keep it real, bro. I won't, you know what I'm saying? Like, you might, people might take this the wrong way or look at it wrong. It is what it is. I won't, like, dedicate to this music shit. I won't, it won't know, like, oh, yeah, this, he, I can't say it's one rapper that motivated me to rap because it's not, bro. I won't like that, bro. I got my own motivation off this shit. This shit just happened, you know what I'm saying? Right. Then I started using it as this, and it just built it, you know what I'm saying? Right. Over time, so I can't really say I was influenced by no rapper, because I won't. I listen to all the rappers. I fuck with them. Like, now, I'd probably say Kodak. Kodak and Dolph. You know what I'm saying, bro? I ain't really musically influenced. I get influenced by myself, bro. Just like when I go in the studio, I just I, I think about me and what I do. Or what I done did, what I done been through, or, you know what I'm saying? Right. I can't really say I get motivated from nobody. Let's see. If you could put, if you could put together, if you could put together a dream collab, you, and let's say, let's pick two artists. Two artists. YB and LV featuring two artists, dead or alive. <laughs> it's going to be Kodak. <laughs> Kodak and Dolph, niggas know me, bro. You ask anybody, bro. I don't really care to get no feature from nobody else. Cody and Dolph. I fuck with everybody. I fuck with rappers. I listen to their music. Cody Dolph. I mean, Cody Dolph. I fuck with Young Nudy. I fuck with how niggas carry they so. Right. So the image and, and the person. And, yeah, yeah. I, yeah, yeah, bro. I fuck with Cody music, period. Young nigga hard. Right. But it ain't no, I don't, them. Right. If 
I had to, if I got a chance to pick who I want to do a song, it's gonna be Kodak. Adore. Kodak and Doll. I got you. So I see, I see you got two gentlemen here with you, man. Let's let's talk about your relationship yeah. with with these guys here. Got my, uh, you know, what I mean, that's Beach Boy. Shout out to the Beach Boy behind behind the camera. Yeah, that's the that's my beat, man. So boy, so he makes your beats. He make all the beats. Okay. Yeah, make yeah make fifty beats right now. Okay. That's DTP, like real shit, bro. Like real shit, bro. And I'm going to keep this, and I don't care. He know I say this all the time. You know I was going to say it. Bro, he, he the only nigga that's named Beach Boy, and he's from Kentsville. It's Virginia Beach, but he not even from Birdneck, bro. <laughs> but it's like he stamped with it. I right. mean, that's Beach Boy. Like, that's Beach Boy. You know what I'm saying? And he that's who make the beats, bro. Going to crib right now, we could be playing 2K. That nigga making some beats. LV listen to these beats, get these beats. You know what I'm saying? Word. And that's dope. He so do so handcrafted yeah, cater, cater to you right there. Yeah, and it's, that's that's really bro. Right. So it's like it ain't even it don't even be feeling like business. You know, I'm so real. We so real with each other. Like, I know he got his own business. Like, this really my dog. Right. I'm still gonna give him some bread. No, I'm still gonna right. give him money. I don't be on that leeching shit, all that freeload shit. I know he trying to do his thing just like me. Exactly. You know and what that's I mean? Love. Just like I got my engineer over there, DT. Okay. That's my dog. Gotcha. So I mean, that's so. This is pretty much your like your your crew then. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's it. That's it. That's like, dope. bro, and not even not even on no music shit. It's really like my dogs. Like, it's just they so talented with they shit. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, oh yeah, it feel like home. Nah, so these, so so these niggas, they motivate you then. Yeah, they motivate. You. They keep right you creative. There, keep you motivated. These niggas keep me in the in the studio, bro. They keep me in the studio, bro. And I like, I like what you said earlier when you you kind of you kind of said it when you was like, uh, sometimes I go to the studio to keep me from doing dumb shit. Like yeah, bro. That's like, dope, bro. Like that's real shit. Like bro. like like yeah, like or I really how you know niggas be going through so much life shit, bro. You just like damn, I might hit the niggas like I might do this type of song, that type of song. You know what I'm saying? Or if I don't want to go do no dumb shit, or just to stay out the streets, so or just stay out the way. Do they keep I, I it? Yeah, this nigga crib in the studio. Do they keep it funky with you when you lay some trash, bro? Yeah. Like, I think out of from the past, I don't know how many songs. The past two weeks. It was one day I came in that bitch. I came in that bitch. Beach Boy, was, it was trash, hey, bro. Look, <laughs> it wasn't even that it was trash. I was just too... What, I was drunk, bro. I was drunk, bro. But look, I came back like I came back early in the morning. I ain't even go to sleep that night. That's why you know why my music won't like that if you understand what I'm saying. You feel me? So I came back early in the morning. And shit was just, yeah, we put like four or five songs. Like, you know what I mean? But that's dope, though. So that's dope that you got... You got people in your circle, your right hand man, that yeah. they're not yes men. They're not gonna be like, oh yeah, that's true. Nobody in our crew make yes man. We all do our own thing, all got our own money. We all our own people, bro. It ain't nobody above nobody, bro. With this Beach Boy shit, bro. This YBN shit, bro. That's dope. It's like that was like YBN shit, bro. Like that's even my little homies, Brizo, you know what I mean? He on the come up. Right. Hard. Yeah. I'm Hard. Right. Know what I'm saying? That's day shit for real, bro. Like I'm their big cousin. Like we the grandma, auntie, same aunties, right. all that. All out. But uh, they, Atlantis. Yeah. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? Nobody. I don't even treat them like they love, bro. Like I treat Same. them like they grown men, bro. Exactly. Like, of course. We all do our own thing. We all get our money. We all get to it. We gotta get. Uh, we gotta get. Ain't nobody. Too. Yeah, 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 for sure. Keep keep him out the way. That's his <laughs> only his problem. Right. If he stay out the way, he gonna be next up. For real. Word. So before we sign out, bro, anything you want to tell the people? Any shout outs, man? What, like what we got coming and, up? I know you said the EP. Yeah, EP coming out. I don't even know what what the title gonna be, but it's coming. You know, it's coming. Goddamn, why being fouls? Spin real in my mixtape. Go get that. Shout out all my Beach Boys. You know what I mean, shout out the whole game. Shout out all the little homies. One more question about YBN Files. I think I think we talked about this at at the studio one time. But your favorite, what's your favorite record off of the off of your your YBN Files? Oh yeah, Files? that uh, Out the Way. I think I told you that right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Out the Way, the song Out the Way. It's just describe me, bro. I get I get to it and stay out the way. You don't really see me. You might see me on social media, but I just do my own thing. Get the bag. Go try to get some money. I'm gonna stay out the way. I don't really do ways. too much, bro. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? And that's a fact. I bro. might be. I might. I might get up in a nigga bitch. That's about it. <laughs> Real shit. <laughs> Yo, why being LB? I did that. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate you coming up to the platform, bro, man. <laughs> Talking your shit. We do got a two-hour session. Hey, look. Shout What's out up? the whole YBN fam. Come on, do this again. Shout out the whole YBN fam, man. Shout out Breezo. Shout out Ma Free Lil Ma. Shout out Keys, Magic, you know what I mean, uh, 105, uh, Yayo, 
everybody, man. That Michi Han show, everybody, y'all know what it is. Whole lot of YB and shit. Yes, all my young niggas want to come up. Yes, sir. Period. That's all it is. Yeah. There YB it is. And shit, Open mic. We need a podcast. YB Let's and get LV. It. We signing out, man. I'm rolling. Hey, guys. We need a podcast.